Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's my first video and uh, I'm going to talk about the problem that uh, made a lot of us disappointed and I'm so happy that uh, finally I found a solution for it uh, so uh, we can use it and hopefully uh, it can remove the problem. So let's go for it. When Quest 1 released, a lot of people bought it and uh, they were happy because it had good resolution, uh, it was standalone and also uh, they could easily adjust the IPD. Um, it was able to support up to 71 millimeter. Uh, so at least um, people expected that in the second generation they will get something uh, better uh, but unfortunately um, it was disappointing also uh, I'm among the people that as I mentioned my IPD is uh, 74.5 millimeter and uh, as we see uh, Quest 2 the maximum uh, is uh, 68 millimeter and uh, I uh, get a uh, blurry view that um, I'm not happy with it at all uh, I've done some search uh, and I've seen that a lot of people uh, they have the same problem S some people uh, they suggest that for example we can uh, put pressure uh, between lenses uh, I've done it uh, so it just added uh, one millimeter I don't think uh, it's the best solution also uh, some laboratories uh, they uh, can make lenses uh, for Quest 2 and uh, when I uh, emailed uh, one of them unfortunately they disappointed me and they said that if you are not using glasses so we cannot uh, make uh, any lens for you anyway uh, finally I tore down the headset and I found a way although it's not the best solution but at least uh, it helped me to get a better uh, view let's see what I've done and uh, how uh, we can fix it I tore down my headset and uh, I was trying to find the sensor that uh, changed the IPD. Uh, it wasn't easy, but uh, finally I've seen that um, there is a small magnet that is attached to the left lens and when we move it to the left and right, uh, this magnet also uh, move left and right and there is a sensor uh, that will sense it and uh, accordingly will update the IPD. And, uh, I've seen that uh, if uh, I use the magnet, uh, easily I can change the IPD. So I shift the lenses and I put them on the third option. Then I use the magnet to set the IPD on 63. Uh, and uh, I was surprised because I've seen that uh, I get better uh, picture. Uh, I got this idea from one application that I'm using, uh, Skybox, uh, that uh, is a really good application for uh, watching videos. There is an offset option that uh, it exactly do the same. The thing is, we shouldn't uh, decrease it too much because uh, there will be lots of pressure on the eye. If we decrease it too much and use it for 10 minutes, what will happen to us is something like this poor cat. It's not the best fix. If you want to do it, uh, this hack, do it at your own risk. Um, uh, but uh, I'm still looking for uh, better options. If I was lucky enough to find a better one, I will share it with you guys. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful please uh, like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.